Okay, hello, my hello. name is Hector. Over to you. Can I start? Yep. My name is Hector, and I'm glad uh, to be here today in this OCA audience to explain my experience at ForgeFlow during my first implementation of Shop Invader from one of our customers. Uh, the first time I heard about Shop Invader was, I think, two years ago during the Spanish Yoga Spring Code in Sevilla, and it was in version 10. But during this time, uh, I think there, uh, a lot of OCA players embraced the project and make Shop Invader a material project to manage the e-commerce with all. Uh, first of all, I will thank you to all the contributors to Shop Invader project. Um, during this talk, I'm going to walk through the customer context before the project started, a brief description of Shop Invader and their architecture, so what Shop Invader is. Then we will talk about the collaboration, the teams involved in the project, and the task we move through version 13. And the, in the last part, I will explain a more technical section and how uh, something that was helpful for me to understand how to extend features with Shopping Bill. Okay, so the customer context. Uh, the customer uh, has a, had already an e-commerce platform. I think they had uh, Drupal. And the main problem that they had is that it was total decoupled from Odoo. So every time they have they receive an order in the e-commerce, they had to translate that order in in to to do a sale order in Odoo. But all in all, they also have to maintain the product master data in both systems. So this is like it was a, a little pain. So the customer was already looking for a connection solution. For a new platform they want to launch. I think they, was, they were gathering about uh, implementing machine to do. Uh, but during this search, they contact us to provide a uh, feasible uh, solution. Uh, we look in the OCA and we see that there were a lot of connectors, but uh, any of these connectors was in, version, in the version we wanted to be ready. So the customer context, the, the priorities of the customer context were they want an integration available for Odoo 13 and they don't want to quit. They want to automate the sale workflow, all the sale workflow, so they don't have to reproduce all the sales. The, the sales keep in the system that they are managing in Odoo. So the e-commerce platform should synchronize with Odoo to recreate the order and it should be a mechanism to export the products from Odoo to the platform. So, well, uh, in that case, uh, we decided to, um, to, did, to did the project with Shopping Better. So what is Shopping Better? And this description, the unique integration of popular platforms that together provides the best e-commerce experience to your customers, employees, developers, and to your business. I really like this description, and I think it really fits in the OCA context. Um, okay, so this is all the all the platforms that integrate Shopping Better. So. We keep the same workflow in Odoo. At the same time, we export the product details to the product catalog cache. We can use Elasticsearch or Arbolia. Uh, Shopping Better Locomotive CMS uh, engine provides all the logic to interact with Odoo. And, and in Locomotive, we don't store any, any data about this process. So all the multimedia content, uh, we, we use a local external storage platform as it could be Amazon S3. And the payment methods are generated from Modu and we only expose the web UI to locomotive. So this is something quite secure in my experience. So what are the benefits of Shopping Better? 
for the final customer perspective, shopping dealer leads customers to find the product that fits their needs using the fast search and the faceting filters that are provided. So the product data reliability, as it is synchronized periodically with trusted data in the ERP. So any, every night we the data is synchronized from our ERP to, to the search engine, and then the website can fetch this data, this right data. So employees benefit using Shopping Better because they don't need to synchronize the ERP data with the e-commerce data. Business logic is kept in Odoo. So the sale orders, the invoices. So they don't need to change the, the system to manage their online sales. They keep the, the current workflow in Odoo. From a developer perspective, uh, backend and frontend developers can be done separately. So it, they don't collide while they are developing. So for the frontend perspective, it is nice so they can they can manage to change and fix this uh, the shop invader template without stopping the erp that this this it will be painful if you every time you have to change something in the website you have to stop your auto uh, they can also benefit from the tool uh, a tool called wagon that locomotive provides uh, and they can uh, do their developments locally. Uh, for the backend developer's perspective, it is nice you can extend features with all the previous knowledge of Odoo. So if I started uh, a new project with an other uh, e-commerce system and I have to put that logic there, uh, if there is not in Python or if it is not Odoo, I would have to learn. So this is something great from Shopping Better because with all the previous knowledge I had, I can manage to, to extend features and, and so on. Uh, I'm sorry. For a business perspectives, it reduces the implementation and maintenance cost because you don't have to maintain two different systems and avoiding the, the duplication of logic between both systems. Uh, the collaboration the project started with the collaboration of two other teams. One is Axon that provides us all the support and setting up the environment and guide us across all the points that were required to line the project in version 13 with our with the customer specification. The front end development team, Abitare, was the responsible of gather all the client design requirements and move it to the template. Developing the front side, extending the features, and they had they already had the real experience. They had a lot of projects of Shop Invader and or related, and they made us move so fast. The collaboration. So uh, the project uh, we can divide the project in three parts. The first part would be to set up the set up the environment. So in that part, uh, I had, and so it was the first time I I, I was working with Shopify Vader. So I have to get used to to it. Uh, and a way to start is uh, create your 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 servers with your dockers. Then fetch the template they provided us as a demo and clean up the demo, what you don't want, and, and then push it to, to the locomotive CMS. Once this is done, you have to configure the Odoo plus the Shop Invader that the first time you do is a little bit painful. But uh, right now I can do it really, really fast. Uh, installing the Shop Invader related modules, configure the backend on the side and then from the locomotive side and then just push the, the products you have in Odoo to the catalog in Elasticsearch. Uh, the second iteration was uh, once we had something to show to our client, to our client about the, the platform, the shipping better, uh, we asked 
uh, we asked him to give us uh, feedback from the design. So how it could be performed, how it, they want the, the website will look like. Uh, once that these requirements were uh, were known, uh, the front end team started to 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 perform all the changes to to fit the the, the requirements in the in the shopping better side. So then, uh, as shopping better, it's mainly using version ten and version twelve. And it is a, a live project, so every week or every every day it's evolving. We had to move some of the features that were in version 10 and version 12 to version 13. And once the, that was done, uh, we had a better a better performance rate in in the in the shop invader. In, in the shopping better uh, ecosystem. Uh, then you, we migrate some module like the guest mode, that this is one module that allows the user don't to have to create an account before he started to, to purchase, so he can purchase uh, with a registration. Mm, once the integration with PayPal that uh, was made for Russell Dennis from Axon. And we had to do some improvements in the country metadata because uh, there was the country state there was an exporting to the to the locomotive CMS. So we couldn't uh, and we need that data to to make some taxes calculation from from tax cloud. So in the last iteration, uh, we we move uh, well our our client uh, was using all the products as templates as product templates and to get some uh, fancy uh, functionalities in shopping better we had to move the what they had in templates that there was the same product with uh, the same filament or with different colors, we had to move it to a variance to get a, a, better, a better appealing in the website. Then uh, another point that was important that, that was uh, the customer requirement. They, in, they had a product, slide, well, a product slider, so they wanted to, to show some slides when you are in the in a product page, and these these were not done in shopping there, so we 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 had to perform these um, we had we had to perform this uh, this integration. So in the other side, we we did all the all the logic, and then we moved that logic to the last. We export that all that logic to Elasticsearch, and then when you are uh, facing one product, you can see uh, all the all the product sliders according to that product. Uh, well, the we can also work on the range integration for uh, for the payment methods and the UPS integration from the deliveries, the tax cloud integrations from taxes, and then we move every images we we had to the Amazon S3, so to that CDN, and then uh, the, the website can grab the, can grab that images from Amazon, and they don't have to repeat that images to our Odoo, and this is reducing the, the performance that uh, in, in, in the Odoo request. So, uh, for final, we managed to, because we had mounted everything, but we didn't have a backup strategy. And yeah, we also did the backup strategy. So our contributions uh, that we need uh, to, to learn in version 13, they were, yeah, uh, as I told, migration of paper, some migrations, some portings. 
and we still have uh, still developing the the, sli the product the slides uh, and a way to manage uh, images for product attributes uh, in a way that when you are going to select one color in the, your website you can see the the image of the color not the name of the color and this is interaction with shopping better uh, this is more technical part in that part um, we have like three ways to interact with shopping better the first one uh, could be uh, is the metadata and that this meant to be that this data that is static and they do and you don't want to to date so often so you can a mechanism from Odoo to push that data to the to you to shop invader and then from shop from the shop invader you can gather this data anytime you need and this data an example of this data could be the available countries to ship the the products or the filter definition available in the front end. Um, for the second, the second method would be to export your products and categories uh, information to Elasticsearch or Algolia. And this is done by, well, you have a, a cron that every, every, night, every day they try to synchronize that data, but you can face it manually also if you 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 notice some mistake in the, in your in the website. And the third would be the 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 REST API interaction with with Odoo. That this is the core of of Shopping Better and. This is necessary to do all the process, all the car checkout to, to validate the, the sale. So the metadata and the indexing, they don't need to do to be online. So uh, if you stop Odoo for, uh, you have to do an update in Odoo, people can still gathering the, the product information in, your, in, your, in, your, in the website. The, the third method, the REST API, he really needs the, the, the order to be in line because this is the responsible of the generation of the orders in Odoo, the computation of the taxes, the se selecting the addresses, selecting the delivery methods, uh, doing the payments, and so on. So in, in the next slide, you can see more or less an, a brief description that, uh, in my point of view, help Okay, let me share my screen again. Actually, I, I think yeah, yeah. something happened and your screen is not sure. Yeah, 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 the yeah, zoom drop down. Ah, okay. That's why I was wondering what happened there. But yeah, interesting presentation so far. Yeah. So yeah, it breaks <laughs> at the at the final. <laughs> so thank you for your attention. And yeah, I I really I'm really glad to be to have to to be able to realize this project because I, I really learned a lot and now I know how we face uh, shopping better project more faster and I really appreciate all the 
contributors for should be better project storage and so on and all OCA contributors because yes I think we're doing a great job here thank you yeah. well done well done well done so this is brilliant presentation Hector and uh, yeah great to chat to you any questions please post them through the chat window or Q and A window uh, on Zoom and we'll be happy to answer don't forget we are broadcasting. Uh, this uh, these talks live on YouTube as well, so you can go and see it there as well, and share it, like it, uh, and post on Twitter as well. Um, I don't see many questions coming in. Um, Hector, again, from your point of view, do you want to share a few examples of where you have implemented um, Shop Invader? Uh, sorry? Uh, can you share some examples, some websites where you have implemented um, Shop Invader? Um, yeah, it was a similar question which was posted for Sebastian, so I thought I'd just repeat that so one for you. I don't have anything prepared here, but That's yeah, we okay. can discuss it later in Discord and I can show uh, what I all my progress. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs>